Still undefeated, here is Hamzat Shimaya making the walk tonight as a middleweight. A lot of people think eventually he's going to be a UFC champion, and he's got a big fight in front of him tonight. I mean, this guy's a monster, you know, from his mindset to the way that he competes. Hamzat Shimaya is one of those guys that passes the eye test. The moment you lay eyes on him, you said this kid has something special about him. He has great wrestling. He has great striking. He has great cardio. The guy has it all. And I'm so excited to once again watch him compete and sit here in his seat and call his fight. The work ethic has never been an issue, perhaps the diet at times when it comes to getting down to 170 pounds. But this man is a problem and ready to impose his will here tonight. Hamzat Shumai. He has graced the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee. He is ready to go. That means so are we for our main event of the evening. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Hamzat Bosh Jabayev. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world. Bruce the Dragon All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Let's do it. All right, Hamzat Shimaev is back as this round gets underway. Undefeated fighter who has officially taken the sport by storm. His fight against Gilbert Burns back in UFC 273 probably is going to end up in the Hall of Fame. But Hamzat didn't want to talk about that this week at all. He wants a quick night at the office. He wants to get a finish and actually said he believes it's going to materialize on the feet and not the ground. We shall see. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Fighters separate from the clinch now. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind him. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Oh, he scored with that uppercut. High impact takedown for Hamzat Shumayev early, and clearly he's taking the path of least resistance tonight. I watch Hamzat Shumayev, and I'm always amazed and his ability to not only get take. Look at him, he's setting up the choke now. Look at that, he's setting it up. Ooh, this could be it, that thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. It looks like he's getting close to this arm triangle. All he's gotta do now is isolate the arm in his head. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. He's got to start throwing now. 
He's got to be careful here. Oh, big shots from the top. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Lee's back in side control. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. That guillotine is very tight. He got out again. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded. They're so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Lucky guy. I have. <laughs> Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Chimaya. Nice transition. And there it is. Another strike gets through on the ground. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Let's see those elbows. Lands a big elbow there. Arm triangle attempt now. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. He's bridging. Oh, no way he got out. He was able to create enough space to get his chest back flat on the mat and defend that arm triangle. Unbelievable. Scramble, scramble. Lee getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch. And now he's got the back. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Beautiful reversal on the ground. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, good dexterity and movement here on the ground to avoid any further damage courtesy of that ground and pound. Nice job off of his back by Hamza Chimaya. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, let's get to round two. All right, next round is underway, and man, is he tough to submit. Like, no lack of effort, but unable to get that submission in the previous round. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic, which allows him to defend with the right frame of mind, and that's why he's never been submitted. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, big knee! Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Lee gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Gets up the feet. His opponent in a lot of 
trouble now. That was Kenny Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has the corner very bad with him. Oh, my goodness. So, pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Gotta capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So, when you get a guy hurt, you gotta find a way to finish the fight. Shimaev's in half goal. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Well, the more things, Shimaev's looking for that arm triangle now. Oh, that one looks really tight, DC. Okay, he's got it. That's it. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. I know you've got a huge appreciation for this. Oh, I mean, this is, this is high-level grappling by both of these guys. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Shimaev's right back to the full mount here. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, good ground and pound here. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in it now, trying to isolate an arm. Yeah, he's trying to go to a Kimura lock right here. He'll, he'll either try to get the submission or use the sweep. Wow, somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Hands on your face. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Takedown defense holds up. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, and the high kick lands. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Another clinch position. Watch for the tricky trips that he uses when he's in close. Under a minute to go. Come on. One minute left. I need you to push now. Oh, right into Mount. Great shot from the top position. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, he's got his knee on the belly, raining down punches here. Oh, big ground strikes continue to land. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, yeah. throw yeah. your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. All right, Let's there's the horn signifying the end of the round. Lee's got a nasty cut above the eye. The cut man has some work to do here between rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Oh, hit kick blocked, though, by Hamza Chimaev. Takedown defense holds up. And now some distance as they pull apart. 
stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. Takedown defense is there. Shimaev's got a lot of weapons on both sides as he switches his stance here. Oh, that one landed, yep. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. He didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. What a strike from off of his back. Now he's going full mount. He's got to be careful here. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up in a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Chimaya. That was nice. Shimaev's back in full now. Three minutes to go in round three. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. He's gonna start to chase the arm triangle. This arm triangle is looking pretty tight. He's got it locked in. He's got to clear the bar. You gotta be kidding me. He's out. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended battle, battle make their way back to the field. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground. And these guys are going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. All right, now they separate. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. And now another being thrown on both sides. Just misses with the straight left hand. In a ton of trouble right now. Just misses with the left hook. Another big call. Let's go, let's work. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Setting up a submission. Oh, nice guillotine there. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. This is where he wants to be. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. It looks like some swelling is forming after that ground and pound strike lands. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. Well, he's avoided a lot of the damage here on the ground. Nicely done with the head movement there. Not staying still underneath his opponent. Oh, he's got his back. 15 seconds to go. Shumayev has got full mount now. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Another ground and pound strike lands. Oh, All right, three man. rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round.
All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the Ready next fight. round starts. Ready. All right, here is round four, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go, fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championships? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now, 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything to hit them. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nice punch here. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Oh, slams him down with authority, DC. Now we'll see what he can do with it, but certainly an impactful moment in the round. He slams him down with so much conviction, and nothing is more discouraging for your opponent than being lifted up off of his feet and then slammed back down to the mat. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Hamza Chimai. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Big ground and pound. Get the ball here. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Shimaev's looking for that arm triangle. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Motioning for his opponent to stand back up here. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble chip. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh! Oh, and now an uppercut. Oh, there we go. Shimaev's in half guard now. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Oh, he's going to try to look at all right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. Oh, submission defense holds up again. It's on point. He's constantly under attack, and he's constantly back to where he's submission to back to back. And they separate. Well, you got it. Oh, he is stuck. Oh, that's the floor the top. His opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh! oh man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus is to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Oh, huge knee to the head, perfectly timed and placed. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. There it is, another strike to the body. That has been a big storyline in this fight. We'll keep an eye on it as the bout continues. You know, we'll keep an eye on it. But the person that should be addressing it is his opponent. His opponent isn't doing anything to, to deter him from doing it. Oh, oh, right oh, oh, on the overhand. Now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that will land it right on the spot. He made that kick. He took that whole kick, yeah. Oh, beautiful level change. Shimaev's got it. 
his head looking for a guillotine. Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke is not there. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Lee's eye now closing up. Huh. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. Ready I mean, fight. he did a great job Ready. of finding his entries, yeah. rushing to his finishes before his opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. She gets tattooed with that hook. He's going to have to change some things here. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Shemaev's bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Oh, right over the top, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that one. Big left hand lands upstairs. Absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Now they separate. Oh, misses with the jab. Back and forth we go. Shimaev's taking aim at that cut right now. A strong decision by him to land What's strikes that? on an area that he has already done significant damage on. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor, champ. The swelling started to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent, he got him hurt, he got him swollen a little bit, and now it's starting to pay dividends. Look at how he drives the game. Huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. And mixes in a takedown. Why not? Nice and peaceful, oh. Three minutes now to go in this one. Big, big shots landed by him now. Nice job by him there to move into half guard. Not much resistance from the bottom fight. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound immediately. All right, a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, that cut is getting worse with every passing ground strike as he lands again. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. If you're gonna go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe, that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. It has got to change something. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to... Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. Shumayev's back to the side control now. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. And he's back up again, so the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Big shot lands for both guys. Misses with the right hand. Oh, and he caught the kick. Rips the body there. Well, some fighters... Oh, this might be the 
biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Great kick to the bottom. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Oh! Just because he got taken down doesn't mean he ain't gonna punch. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Oh, and transitions right into side control. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Lee's eye is now swollen shut. They could actually stop this fight right now, given how bad it is. Clearly, the referee keeping a close eye on the fight. And there is the final horn. What a 25-minute affair tonight. We're going to the scorecards. The Ladies official decision is in. It resides with rounds, Bruce Buff. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Hobbs and Boris Kibayev. All right, so the welterweight cut never seemingly...